the sense of security that I have when I have this with me after using it several times blew me away and regardless of the cost regardless of anything else you can't pay for that feeling when you're on the mountain I don't know why I didn't have something like this earlier How's it going? This is Martin here from Soul Trail. So today I want to talk to you about head torches, but one head torch specifically. Um, I've had many head torches over the years. Like you can get two of these for like 14 euro. You can get like, I got these two for like 17 euro or something like that. Then I got this one, which I never use because it was shite. And then I got this absolute monstrosity of a thing for like 25 quid. And I was nearly too embarrassed to put it on my head. <laughs> it's it, it's massive, like. Look at the size of this. <laughs> it's massive. But in saying that, it was stating that it was like two and a half thousand um, lumens, which there's no way in hell it, it was. But yeah, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the point they're trying to make here is I've had a lot of head torches and a lot of budget head torches and I didn't realize they were budget because I never put big thought into spending money on a head torch like when you can get two of them for 17 euro you can get two of them for 14 euro like it's ridiculous it's ridiculous what you can actually get and they're quite cheap in terms of using a head torch like always have one with you but I didn't realize how bad these are until I actually got a quality head torch but let me explain. If you have one of these, they're fine. They'll do the job for you and they'll get you off the mountain. But I've had several times where I had to come off the mountain due to bad weather and I had to rely on these. And you're basically looking two feet in front of you. Like, because, they're, yeah, they're not the strongest in the world, but they do the job. So I don't want to be putting these down too much. For someone who doesn't wild camp or anything like that, I don't know. Look, for me, I had no issues with these for many years until I got <laughs> a quality one. Okay, let's put these aside. And the lovely people at Phoenix sent me one of their head torches and yeah, this is something special. It makes all of these look like amateurs. So this is Phoenix and this is the model, the HP 25R version two. All I'll say so far is I didn't realize how bad my other head torches were until I used this. I never used a head torch that is of high quality before. So I was always sticking with the two head torches for 17 euro, two head torches for 14 euro, or just the cheap ones. And that's fine. If you want to use the cheap ones, that's fine. This They will do the job for you if you're out hiking. In terms of wild camping and stuff like that, getting off the mountain, it's always a risk if the weather comes in and you want to get off, and that's fine as well, and you can use those head torches. But, the sense of security that I have when I have this with me after using it several times blew me away. And regardless of the cost, regardless of anything else, you can't pay for that feeling when you're on the mountain. And for me, I had no worries or issues if, excuse my French, if the shit hit the fan, that I needed to get off the mountain. I felt so safe knowing that I had a long battery life and a high quality light. So this will set you back 109 euro. And I know what you're saying, why would you spend that when you can get a load of the other ones? But I thought the same as you until I used it. It was a sense of security that this gave me that blew me away more than anything. Okay, let's go into some of the features and I'll tell you all about it. Let's weigh it up first. So that's coming in at 249 grams. Off the bat, you can feel the build quality of it. Like this alloy is so well molded. It's unbelievable. So the reason why they use alloy because it's strong, light, but it disperses heat a lot. And it's the same as titanium. Titanium disperses heat and this uh, spotlight gets really hot when it's on turbo. So it needs to have a material uh, that is strong and that disperses the heat and alloy allows you to do that. 
it tilts to 60 degrees and it has a lovely quality click system here. You can hear it. It's very well built. So it's it, when you have it in whatever angle that you need, it's not gonna it's not gonna move. Okay, the full actual this band, this is helmet compatible, as I mentioned. Everywhere where there's a white mark, it's it reflects any any other person's light. So safety wise, it is very, very good. So this unit is IP66 rated, which is heavy, heavy rain or hard splashes, and it'll be fine. It's not waterproof. It's a USB-C charger. So that's where you charge it, that point there. The one thing I do like about it, it has an internal memory. And the internal memory remembers the last setting that you had on. And when you put it back on, it'll go to that setting straight away. So that's a plus. Okay, so up on top here, there's a small little light just in between the two buttons. So if I press it once, you'll see that that flashed. So this is a battery indicator and just three settings. So a solid green light is 85% to 100%. A flashing green light, like the one I have, is 85 to 50%. And then a flashing red light is 50% to 25%. So it's good to have that. So a big problem that I had with my other head torches is them turning on in the bag. And then by the time I take them out, half the battery is gone. And I always thought this was going to be an issue here as well. But there's actually two systems to it. So the light is on now, as you can see. So now the light is off. Hold these two buttons for two seconds and you'll see the red light flashing. There you go. So that means no matter what I do, it's just going to keep flashing and tell me my battery. So if it keeps hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, it's not going to turn on until I hold this for the two buttons for two seconds again. It'll flash like that again and then your, your light stays on. But that's not only the only safety mechanism. So when you push this down, you have this lip that goes over. So if you didn't have it locked electrically, mechanically, it's still locked. So I really like that feature. So it's a rear mounted battery. This is the 5,000 milliamp battery and this is the heaviest part of the full unit. It is actually quite comfortable on the back, the way it rests there. And what I did notice on the inside there, you have actual rubber that grips to your hat or your head or anything. So it doesn't move very easily. So I really like that. But yes, this is the heaviest part of it. You have a reflector on the back. Um, when you are not using this, you unscrew it a few times just so the battery doesn't discharge badly. So it's to save the battery or you can take it apart there by the battery and the unit there. Okay, let's talk about the three lights that we have here. This is the main spotlight. So spotlight and floodlight. So the spotlight is an SST40 white LED. You can see the LED in the inside incredibly powerful but I'll go through that in a minute so then you have these other two lights here so the Cree it's called the G3 neutral white LED you can see it there that goes there's multiple settings with that but I will go through it and then you have the red light the main reason for the red light is emergencies because it flashes so if you ever had an emergency, you use it that. But the likes of map reading, or if you're around your tent, or if it's a very clear night, use the red light, and that will keep your night vision. Okay, before I go through the lights, I want to show you the difference between a quality head torch and a budget head torch. Now, I had no issue with this, but I didn't realize how bad it was until I used this. Here is the budget head torch and the beam is on its highest setting. I'm gonna start off the Phoenix with its spotlight on its lowest setting, and you'll see the difference. So that's the budget one with its full beam. Now this is the Phoenix on its low beam. Budget on high beam, Phoenix on its lowest beam. Going up, Going up again, <laughs> up again, 
up again. I'm going to fully turn it off and you'll see the difference. This is what I noticed about a quality head torch versus the budget head torches. So here is the budget head torch with the floodlight. It, it has only one setting. So that's fairly bright enough. I'm going to start off the Phoenix with the floodlight on its lowest setting. Going up one. Going up one. That's the highest. Now I'm going to turn off the Phoenix and you will see the difference. So let me just quickly go through each light and each setting that it has. I'll tell you the lumens, the hours and the feast that you will get from that setting. So let's go. Okay. I'm starting off with the spotlight. So this is the spotlight on eco mode. So that's 50 lumens. You will get 56 hours out of this and that is a reach of 193 feet. Now we're going up one. This is on the low setting. This is 150 lumens, 24 hours and that's a reach of 272 feet. Up again. This is the medium. This is 400 lumens, 8 hours with 459 feet. Up again. This is on high. This is a thousand lumens. Four hours at 748 feet. And then this is turbo. So the turbo is the 1600 lumens. Now this will last for two hours at 951 feet. So in the turbo setting, it will drop after 10 minutes down to a lower setting just to leave the LED and the light um, cool down. That's why, as I mentioned earlier on, it has the alloy around it because it's very good at heat dispersing. Okay, let's go to the LED floodlight. There are three settings with this and we're starting on the low setting. So this is low, five lumens, you get 400 hours out of this at 26 feet. That's the medium. You have 150 lumens, 24 hours and 98 feet. That's a high, that's the highest setting of the floodlight at 400 lumens, 8 hours and 164 feet. Now let's go on to the red light. These are only two settings and both are at 5 lumens. So that's the, the constantly on. That's the 5 lumens, 400 hours, 164 feet. Now this is the SOS. So it the, it's flashing the SOS signal at five lumens and this will last 800 hours at 19 feet. Um, let's do the pros and cons. Let's do the cons first and being honest, I haven't got, well, do I have any or many? So I suppose the weight, right? The weight is 235 grams, but you're getting like a 5,000 uh, milliamp battery in it that will, again, give you a very good sense of security on a mountain because it lasts a long time. Um, I don't like head torches with the cables coming out because I always had it in my mind that I, I'd catch it on a branch going past and everything like that. Again, that still might happen, but at the end of the day, it hasn't happened to me yet. I didn't like the, the tree strap head torches. Well, I thought I didn't, but this didn't bother me at all. And plus, this is helmet compatible, so you're able to use this on big helmets if you are, say, rock climbing or even uh, mountain biking or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, it didn't bother me. So the cables I thought would bother me, and they don't. So, yeah, I suppose the weight is 235 grams, but, like, at the end of the day, that's all, the, that's all in the battery. So it is. So pros, like, the build quality is incredible. The battery life is incredible. Um, like the field of view that you have with the light um, is brilliant. Like, and it's just made of tough stuff. It really, really is. So yeah, I really, really, it, it's for me, the main thing of the pros of this is the sense of security that I have on the mountain. And I will not lie to you, you can't pay for that. You can't pay for it to be out there and feeling secure on the mountain it's yeah it's incredible it really really is so yeah um i didn't expect to have that feeling from uh like a head torch but yeah it's um it's making me a lot more confident especially knowing that i have enough power enough light uh to get off the mountain or help search for anything or 
you know, it'll get you out of scenarios. So there you have it. That is the Phoenix HP 25R version 2 head torch. This will not be leaving my hiking bag. <laughs> I really want to thank Phoenix for it. They have a massive product range, so definitely check out their website. I'll leave all the details in the description of, of all the information about this, but then other links to their other products that they have. So check them out. They're a lovely company to deal with. And hopefully I'll have some more of their head torches and um, I'll do some reviews in them. So this is Martin here from Soul Trail. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button. It's really helping the channel. And look, stay safe out there. Stay safe with a good head torch. And uh, look, <laughs> talk to you in the next one. Bye.